morning YouTube. Trivia, something or nothing. Out this morning for a bit of a lockdown walk. I'm lucky to have all this sort of area right on my doorstep. I could walk up onto Dartmoor if I wanted. Probably take me about an hour. But this morning I'm just going to do a circular route that me and my wife often run. about half six in the morning quite cold but absolutely beautiful in this golden sunlight and the bird song it's a lovely time to get out so how is everyone finding the lockdown? So far in our household, we seem to be doing okay. We're all healthy is the main thing. Homeschooling's a bit tricky, but we're trying our best. We always do a lot of learning with the kids anyway, so they're quite bright kids, so we're not too worried. But uh, yes, half past six in the morning, beautiful time to be out. But I've sort of been lying awake since about five. I don't know about you, but sleeping is something I'm having a bit of trouble with. Not as active as we'd like to be, are we? And there is a lot on your mind, isn't there? So this is just a great time to get out. There's no one else about. I take the kids out probably twice a week for a walk. We don't like to go out too often. And we only sort of walk local to our house, but there's always so many people out in the same places. And although most of us probably haven't got the coronavirus, you it's a horrible sort of thing feeling around people at the moment isn't it and it'd be nice when all this is over and we can act like humans again it's lovely hearing the birds but the uh, A30 surprisingly noisy so a lot of key workers out there going to work I should think if we got up here there's lots of things we're trying to do with the kids keep them entertained a lot of it involves eating doing a lot of baking and we made toffee apples which you might have noticed this scab on my lip that's a nasty toffee apple instance <laughs> molten sugar and uh, I was dipping the toffee apple and I dropped it into the sugar and I just managed to catch the tip of the stick bought it out but got some on my finger sucked it and then it stuck to my lip and uh, burnt my lip so yeah not not a nice not a nice little injury that I also didn't have the sense enough to get a haircut before lockdown so God knows what this is gonna look like by the end of it it's getting away from me now that's the side bits I ate, you know, tufty. But there you go. It's either let it go or let Donna have a go on my hair. So uh, yeah, I'm just letting it go. It's 
uh, this loop's probably about four, just over four kilometers. And I must say that I am aware how lucky I am to have this right on my doorstep. And I feel for anyone who's sort of stuck in a, in a high rise flat in the middle of a city, you know, you've just got like a bed sit or something, or even people who are on your own, you know. It must be really difficult times. Uh, I hope you're all keeping as sane as you can, staying strong and as positive as you can in this situation. colder this side. It really is. It's freezing out. This morning there was a frost on all the cars as I was walking past them this morning. So uh, yeah, shorts might not have been the best choice. So this river here runs straight down off of Dartmoor, the East Oakland. And I was here not long ago, only a few weeks before the lockdown, and uh, the water running down here then, we'd had nothing but rain for months. It was a bit of a different story. It's lovely and peaceful at the moment.
end of my walk now. It's uh, fresh still. Look forward to getting a nice, have a nice cup of coffee. So uh, anyway, yeah, thank you for joining me. And uh, stay positive. We'll soon be through this. We'll soon be back out. Take care. Cheers.